here's the thing, people. Right? Propaganda wants you to believe the opposite. Talk to Johns Hopkins University. They hired me to teach propaganda and persuasion to high school students one summer at the Center for Talented Youth at the University of California, Santa Cruz's campus. I lasted for the weekend because it was the biggest shit show I had ever seen in my life, totally disorganized. And the executive director of the Center for Talented Youth had to resign because it was such a shit show, right? But it caused me a lot of irritation because they changed my contract when I got there by cutting my teaching assistant, right? They refused to give me a new teaching assistant. Then they uh, fired or let go, right? Laid off a couple of teaching assistants. They wanted to be my teaching assistant. They wouldn't let them, do you know what I mean? Meanwhile, there was a profoundly deaf staff person who was acting as a teaching assistant for another faculty member. Um, and he was not getting the accommodations or even getting the ear of the administrators. And I was like, this is literally batshit crazy, right? And I know from batshit crazy because when I was teaching as a visiting assistant professor in the English department at Gettysburg College four years ago, right, they actually expelled me from campus this time on the fourth Friday in September. I have the letter. Right. They said I was a danger to the campus because I warned the faculty and staff and my students about actual and threatened racial violence. Right. Because there was a hate crime when I was there and everybody said, oh, that's just Gettysburg. A hate crime against black. A black student. (laughs) I have this in my email. You know, and then come to find out all these years later, right, that a white kid used a box cutter on that campus and wrote the N-word, right, on a black guy's chest. And for some reason, the media won't even say that it's a black guy who was subjected to a branding by his white classmate, which matches the vibe at Gettysburg College, (laughs) right? Which is what I said four years ago, but Gettysburg College didn't like that, right? So now when I see Kamala Harris not saying a peep about the bullshit that the United States is continuing to finance on behalf of the Israeli state, right? And I see Biden, I mean, what's going on? Why Why does the White House think we're fools, right? The White House is saying, oh, Netanyahu agreed to this and then didn't agree to this, right? Change, that's been the story, people, right? And then the New York Times is trying to say, actually, it's Hamas that's causing the instability. How is Hamas causing the instability? Everywhere you look, Netanyahu is causing the instability, right? Netanyahu says to the United Nations, right? Beware of the long arm of Israel. Right. The long arm of Israel, which continues to evade accountability, even though it's in violation of so many counts of international law, as Queen Rania of Jordan said the other day. Right? Right? far more educated than anybody in our government or the Israeli government, right? So listen, I get it. It's a bizarre world out there, people, right? Kamala can continue to say that if Congress passes a law preserving a woman's right to abortion, she'll sign it and she'll love it. How is Congress going to pass that? Congress hasn't passed anything except for a couple of bills that it had to pass during the pandemic. Otherwise, people would have rose up and rioted in this country. And I mean white people. Oh, wait a minute. They did do that. 
wait a minute, white people did rise up and rioted, right? There was an insurrection that's called terrorism. And for some reason, none of our political leaders will say that. Why is the United States government captured by the Israeli government? You would have to be a damn fool to vote for Kamala Harris. She collaborated in the cover-up over Joe Biden's senility, quote-unquote. She thinks... Uh... You can control inflation through price controls. That really is stupid. You control inflation. Well, you don't control inflation because we're in the late stage of capitalism, my friends, right? This is why we get total contradictions such as her former support for the Green New Deal which she's now trying to juggle with her support for fracking, of all things. Meanwhile, she didn't pick Josh Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania. She picked stupid Tim Waltz, right? Minnesota is not a state. What? Tim Waltz, who lied about his wasting, but the, I guess they just banked on the fact that nobody would pay attention. They would just forget. What a crying shame this country, the Union States of America is. I mean, for crying out loud, H.G. Wells said at the end of World War II, that the world had lost all order, that it was pure chaos now. And here I've been the last four years trying to make order out of disorder and it's impossible, my friends. I mean, just look at what passes for news these days, right? It's not news at all, it's just garbage. Right. What a wicked web we deceive. Excuse me, I got my words out of order speaking of disorder. What a wicked web we weave when we practice to deceive. Uh -huh. I didn't know it had become fashionable to flip-flop as Kamala has so brazenly been doing. And investors are right to be spooked you can't be both for fossil fuel production and for a Green New Deal. You state again, for the record, that's a contradiction. The market wants strong signals of consistency, not inconsistency. And honestly, we have no idea what Kamala Harris would do if she got into office. She's a complete blank slate, right? I don't know what she's afraid of. Why can't she just be herself? Why can't she just say, I'm the product of the best that America has to offer?
But of course, that is the best of what America offers. Possessive individualism, egomania, and narcissism. Three seventeen. Time to make the donuts.